And you know what? Let's begin. And we do have the judgment with the the pool, right? The trust card. So we have blossom and we have trust. For some of you, this is actually a leap of faith. This is um, a second chance. Um, this is a decision uh, for some of you to trust somebody or somebody decides, you know what? I am going to trust cancer. Oh, trust enough to reach out, Cancer. We do have the judgment and the three of pentacles. I love this. With this deck, it is about reaching out. Um, but this is the energy of partnership. This is the energy of building the life together. This is the energy of giving you a chance, of you giving them a chance. Um, it's the energy of, I think I can build a life with Cancer. Judgment and the Ace of Cups based on love. Of course, can it, it's a love abundance in this card, in this deck. I still love it. But maybe for some of you actually um, deciding to have this new beginning, right? Deciding to say yes to a cup or you deciding to receive that cup. Last shuffle, I like promise, and then I cut the cards. Seven of Wands, choose your battles. Wow, you might have to fight for this. <laughs> Or maybe there was a fight in the past and now they come um, They come in so sweetly with, I have a cup for you. Can you please take it? Kind of energy. Anyways, bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time. And we do have the Hermit. Might be a Virgo. Uh, but this is the energy of seeking. And what do they seek? Cancer with you, success and growth. I love this. Um, that is a sense of wisdom. Right? Um, and let me tell you, eight of ones, right? It's all about communication. So I know it's good. it goes all over the place. I know, I know. Um, yeah, they seek communication, success, and growth with you. Eight of ones is the energy of passion, but because the hermit is there, and it's a very lonely and wise energy, it's a very um, experienced energy, right? kind of comes to calm down um, the energy of the eight of ones an energy of quick shift in movement let's go i have no time come on come on come on you know um so can't say you know my readings by now past energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies let's have the current energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies and let's have the possible outcome and then we turn the energies one by one, see what we receive there. Bottom of the deck, Seven of Swords. We might have a secret passion, Cancer. We might be passionate about somebody in like great secret, you know? Somebody like, you know, in a hidden connection. We are passionate about somebody. It's not, we are not supposed to. It's a little bit forbidden. It's a little bit uh, tasty because it's forbidden, right? Well, we cannot abide by the rules, I mean, every single time, right? I'm kidding, you should. <laughs> Anyways, um, Cancer, you do have the energy of listen and your vitality. So for some of you, um, you know, um, it's the energy of um, listening to somebody and getting passionate about. Ace of Wands is the energy of sensuality, is the energy of playfulness. Feels like conversations, even if high priestess is by excellence the energy of silence. But because you listen to, right? That that was something about them that got you all excited with the ace of ones, um, got you all happy, um, enthusiastic to start something with this person. And high priestess is also with the energy of wisdom. Um, is the sorry guys, oh that um somebody needs me, so it is this energy of. Um, you know, spirituality, uh, staying between the dark and the light in order for us to know everything. It's a very smart energy, actually. Um, and, um, and guess what? We got all excited for a new beginning just by, um, talking to this person, right? And having those exchanges and also, um, it is the energy of investigation, by the way. So somebody you discovered, right? For some of you, cancer, actually, you took layers off from this person. And then you got to the uh, the core of it and you got all excited by what you found, right? There were layers. And also overall energy, we have a world of excitement. Eight of Wands, everything is up and running. 
um, in regards to this. And it's interesting, um, Cancer, because in the past you had the energy of um, the High Priestess with the Ace of Wands, passion combined with a little bit of silence and a, a, a bit of um, listening. And overall energy right now, you have again the energy of passion, Eight of Wands, and it's um, paired with kind of the same vibe as the High Priestess, right? Knowledge, insight, information, seeking. You have listened and your vitality, and now you have seeking uh, passion, success, and growth. So you listen, and now you listened, and now you seek, right? Now you know what you want to have. So I uh, know this person of yours. Um, cancer, absolutely. We have them a little bit anxious. We had them a little bit anxious in the past with the Four of Swords. Is the energy of just breathe? Is the energy of uh, planning and strategizing also? Um, so I believe they came from a place of brains and um, I don't want to say detachment because the magician has nothing about detachment and has everything with manifestation and hands on energy. But um, you know, they might have been silent for a while. They might have asked for uh, for a separation, a breakup, an energy of let's pause it for a moment. But um, at the end of the day, they were manifesting this connection with you. Um, this is the energy of desire and planning. And um, this is the energy of I want a life that is going to be different. Um, where I'm going to take some um, some leadership, you know, because the magician is quite a powerful energy. It is above, so below, right? We are co-constructing with the universe. That's a magician. Uh, and we align things, right, in 3D as they are supposed to. So, again, a very spiritual energy. You had one with the high priestess and overall energy with the hermit. Again, energies of, of spirituality, of introspection, of higher self. And they came from the same energy with the magician, right? Um, and mutual energies between the two of you. Oh my God, so much love, right, Cancer? Mutual energies, wish fulfillment, dreams coming true. So there was a lot of love, a lot of desire, um, a lot of alignment too. Um, and also the Four of Pentacles, the energy of firm, firm foundations, the energy, the energies of. I hold on to my cancer and probably you you had the same energy of holding on to them because they were your desire. You know, that is a sense of um, cancer of perseverance and a sense of um, I am pursuing this because they are all my emotional world. Plus, I have a lot of um, passion for them, right? And a lot of chemistry attraction. There's, um, you know, um, somebody being um, in a very... Um, in an energy where, um, you know, you are attracted uh, beyond uh, possibility to um, to respond, right? So where are we right now? Oh, Cancer, we are at crossroads, baby. What's going on? So we do have the two of wands and we do have the two of pentacles. Um, we need to spread our wings, don't we? Right? Spread your wings. We need to make choices. Two of, um, two of Pentacles is the energy of finding balance, is the energy of um, doing a lot of work, is the energy of effort, is, is the energy where we are overdoing stuff, right? In order to keep them up and running in balance, we are taking way too much responsibility and then we have paired with it uh, with the two of ones. We need some choices. We need to make some choices in order to get back in balance, in order to feel at ease and, and have, you know, days filled with... Um, Right? Eight hours of eight hours of sleep, eight hours of hobby, and eight hours of work, you know, or pleasure. Eight pleasure, eight work, and eight we have to sleep. It's me speaking. I sleep between four and six hours, so not sure I'm a good example, but that's what I was uh, taught in school. So saying that, you should get some more, um, you know, some more balance. It's kind of the universe sending a sign, you know. It's about time when we make a choice there, whatever that is, um, because I'm sensing you might be concerned uh, with work, you might be concerned with money, you might be concerned with stability, so, um, you know, it's um, kind of in your hands. I love this Cancer because this person of yours, they have a cup for you, um, Cancer, Ace of Cups, Love Abundance, their heart is filled with um, joy and love and emotions. And they come to the table with the energy of Eight of Pentacles. They want to work on this. And every time, every time I see 
Ace of Cups with the Eight of Pentacles kind of tells me of teach me how to love you, right? That's energy, teach me how to love you. Um, Eight of Pentacles, we know it's the apprenticeship um, card energy. We hone our skills, we really focus on what we want, and we also learn about what we want so that we um, can answer and provide. And Ace of Cups. Give me your cup. Give me your love, right? I want to I wanna work on this. I want this to work. I want to focus on this. Teach me how to love you so that it works. Now, mutual energies between you and, the, you and your person, Cancer. We do have the Five of Cups. The energies of I miss you like crazy. Five of Cups is mourning the loss of you. Probably you mourning the loss of them. Um, Five of Cups is the energy, of course, in this deck of changing focus because it might um, it might be too much. It might be um, a little bit obsessive. And both of you, you want this to work. Believe and succeed and the energy of um, Six of Wands. For some of you, of course, that might be the energy of Ego, especially with this combination, right? Um, uh, we might have um, been a little bit, um, you know... Um, we might have said something, we might have done something, and um, and now we are kind of, um, we have might have a lot of pride with the six, six of wands to say, I miss you, I'm sorry, I'm changing, you know, and I, um, give, give me a chance, give us a chance. And it's mutual energy. So if this is about missing you, miss them, they miss you. If this is a bit of a pride, too prideful to say, I'm sorry, I regret what I did. Because the Five of Cups is the energy of guilt and regrets and responsibilities. Um, it's kind of mutual energy. So we might be behaving like kids a little bit, you know. Uh, but there is no doubt that there is a passion and and a desire for new beginnings and i do love the nine of cups between the two of you this is um reciprocated this is um desire right between the two of you and it's um reciprocated now moving forward we do have the six of cups which is the energy of reconciliation and soulmates the energies of simply love and the six of ones believe and succeed a lot of love um cancer a lot of love a lot of love coming your way and um a lot of success, of course, but let's make sure it, this is not about pride. Um, and I know Cancer is such a loving um, zodiac sign and we're always focused on family and love and emotions. So um, love is coming your way, but this person of yours, they might be fighting demons a little bit. They are in the seven of pentacles. The energy is coming their way is the seven of uh, pentacles, the energy of, of waiting. Because they have the devil in their energy, it can be Capricorn, of course, and if that's the case, um, you know, they are waiting for the right moment to approach you. And um, their right moment is actually mastering the devil, controlling addictions, codependency, toxicity, whatever um, disappointment is in their life or <clears throat> whatever shadows, because the devil is the energy of shadows. And of course, because the one is healing and the other one is ready, we do have Five of Pentacles and Seven of Cups. We had a little bit daydreaming and uh, decisions, right? In, a, in daydreaming uh, energy and in decisions um, energy. But we are also in our corner, a little bit feeling alone and longing and daydreaming about each other. That's the energy, right? There is a sense of solitude. There is a sense of... Um, you know, trying to find balance, you in your corner, them in their corner, but there is no doubt that that is desire. And also a sense of, I thought about it, and I'm not sure I was my higher self in it, right? I mean, regrets right in the middle of the reading, right? So we feel that we should have done things differently, and that's a good start, right? If this is about a reconciliation of some sort. That is a strong indication of new love. That is a strong indication of manifestation of a new love. Ace of Wands, Ace of um, Cups, the Magician. Um, you know, knowing better, doing better, um, knowing what success is, and willing, you know, to to have something that looks like um, a success or a successful connection. For some of you, can very well be that. So, um, can turn the just for some guidance. Let's see what. Should we say yay or nay, right? That's a point in guidance or, um, you know, move away. 
Oh, I'm so not surprised. Cancer, love is all around you. That is love everywhere, all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. So, um, why feel lonely, right? You, both of you have the five of pentacles. So, no reason, actually, because love is all around you. And it is, let me tell you. And it is. And we do have romance. Love is the one you love with personal attention and affection. Love is all around you and romance. Love is the one you love with personal attention and affection. So this one looks like it might be on you, this one. And Cancer, honesty is essential. Speak with love and truth. I love this. Love is all around you. Love is your person. They love you back. And let's be honest about it. Beautiful. What else? Let's have three romance angels, shall we? I don't always feel like using them. For some reason, I no longer connect 100% with them. But now I feel we do. So. so let's have three. Past life relationship, I'm not surprised. You have known each other before. You do have the six of cups. Coming your way and in the same time doesn't mean that uh, you had a connection with this person, but that is might be a past life. And you'll know when they feel like home, when if when they when they have this type of energy that is positive and it's um, warm and, and soft, and they make you feel comfortable and it's not a fight and it's not a struggle and it's not work, but simply it flows, you'll know they are the other one. We do have, it is safe for you to love, Cancer. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, and they so have a cup for you. So that's okay. You had a bond in the past with them. It is safe for you. And now we have reconciliation. For some of you, it might be a reconciliation. Or if, um, when I see reconciliation, it reminds me of um, the energy of... Um, feeling like coming home, right? When you meet somebody and it feels like soul coming home. Um, and it feels like, you know, you, uh, you've you known them and uh, you've loved them and you know how they feel. Well, that's a reconciliation to the first time of meeting somebody. Because I feel past life relationship and reconciliation feels like soul coming home. So, Let's see what energies we need to get back into the flow, but there is no doubt you are love, Cancer. Oh, surrender to trust. Trust yourself and your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinion about what you do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. Indecision. Oh my, are you... Indecision, I use my intuition in all aspects of life. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. We do have judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. So let's not label them, right? Let's not put them in a corner. I understand that everyone has their unique path and challenges. They might be different, but you have to trust them. We do have denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. And it's interesting, it's one and the same, right? Surrender to trust, and now we have I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Okay, let's have bottom of the deck. We have purpose. I know what I'm here to do. And I'm hearing you know what you have to do in regards to this connection, Cancer. You know what you have to do, right? No indecision, no judgment, no denial, only purpose and trust. Um, and you have the energy of success and growth twice. And with the, the six of wands also twice. So uh, if this is not success in love, I wonder what is. And hey, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.